So you wish to build the next billion dollar app that also runs in the browser and is local first. Whether it's a to-do app, the next big budgeting app, or just a collection of funny cat images, you need to store your data somehow. You need to have some form of persistence. And traditional built-in storage mediums like local storage, session storage, or even indexed DB for the bravest of you aren't cutting it anymore for you. You need something you can relate to, right? Something closer to your mental model of a relational database. But did you know that you can actually run PostgreSQL directly in the browser? So that is now possible with PG Lite, which is embeddable Postgres. This works by wrapping Postgres in WebAssembly. You can simply compile the C version of Postgres into WebAssembly and have it execute in the browser. And now you can finally run your beloved SQL queries. This makes it much easier to reach parity. If you were to slap on a backend in the future, if you want synchronization, for example, it's much easier if both the frontend and the backend speak the same language. And all you have to do to install it is to fetch this NPM package, Electric SQL PG Lite. Note that I'm running PG Lite with Svelte, but it's just another JavaScript library. So it's framework agnostic. You can run it with React, Vue, whatever floats your boat, even if you were building a vanilla JavaScript or TypeScript application. Another small detail that is worth considering if you're using Vite as your bundler, you actually need to configure Vite to not overly optimize this PG Lite library because it will actually get rid of some of the necessary library components if you don't tell it to. So you actually have to exclude this when we're optimizing dependencies if you're using the Vt bundler. Other than that, creating a new database instance is as easy as doing const db equals new pg lite and boom, you're ready to go. But this actually runs PG Lite with in-memory mode, which will not persist your data. It will actually it will actually cause your data to be wiped whenever the tab is closed. If you want it to be persisted, you can actually use indexed DBs. So PG Lite will actually store your database files under the hood within indexed DB. So in order to do that, we can specify another connection string here, which will be IDB slash slash and then you specify the name of the index db database this will be created if it doesn't already exist so i'm just going to call it my database it is in fact also possible to run pg lite within the new api called origin private file system which can actually store files on your disk but this is an incredibly recent api that is only available in the latest version you can also not run pg lite on safari if you have this so here we have an incredibly basic example of how to run pg lite here we're just creating a new table if it doesn't exist. This, this is just basic SQL, which you are already familiar with. It creates a new table if it doesn't already exist. It inserts a new row into this table and then selects it. So if I press this run button now, you can see that we have gotten back some data. We're getting back the fields, we're getting back the rows, and we can see that we have one row with one message. If I continue clicking this you can see that we get back more rows and these are in fact already deserialized for us into javascript objects another amazing feature of pg lite is that it supports live queries so you can actually have reactive queries that listen to changes in the database whenever a row is added updated or deleted we get back a notification with the most recent data and here is an example of that so i also added the ability to specify a custom message when we are inserting into the table so just like you might be used to doing prepared statements, a similar thing exists in PG Lite, which is called a parameterized query. In this case, we are sending in the message argument, which is the first argument. So in this case, we send in an array, which contains the first argument here, that is the message. Here I'm just using a basic Svelte state that is bound to this input field, but this could be coming from React, view or anything, we're just sending in a simple string here. And we specify that the first argument that we are sending in here will be this message string that we are using. 
When I then add a little message here and press the run button, we can see that it magically appears underneath here. I can add another message, ABC, and this will also beautifully exist here. It also works if I were to reload the page. So how did we set up this reactive query? Well, we just created a PG Lite instance with the live extension. So when we create a new PG Lite instance with extensions, we instead used a wait. So this is why we need to run this in an async function. But then we can pass in the live extension and this gives us access to the live object which we can then use to query data from the database and we can see that we are now selecting from the test relation so whenever the test relation changes if we were to add something if we were to update something then it will automatically run this callback function that we have specified here and this callback function all that it does is just set the messages state to be the most recent state from the database so we will just get back the result of this query which contains all of the records in the test relation PG Lite also has a first class integration if you were to be using React. So with the PG Lite React library, we get some really nice hooks that we can use inside of our React app. All we have to do is set up a new PG Lite provider, which we provide with the database instance that we create in exactly the same way as before. We can then use the use PG Lite hook to get access to our database from anywhere within our app. We can also use the use live query hook, which will give us a state which we can use to reactively update our UI based on a query. So I can now search something works exactly the same way as before and it will reactively update and render that within React. So I hope that you guys found this library as cool as I did. We can finally run SQL in the browser. The awesome guys who created PG Lite have also created a really cool syncing library called Electric SQL, which we can actually use to synchronize our local data between clients. And this is something that we will be checking out in the next video, so stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Peace out.